Well guys, you finally did it. You talked me into it. I'm inviting you, yes you, past clients, future clients, possible clients, to my property for the first ever Whitetail Land Management Services Field Day. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I set up my world-class personal hunting property. Everything from timber stand improvement, food plotting, where my trail cameras are, and where my tree stands are. Beyond that, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I strategically hunt my property to consistently hunt mature bucks and kill my target bucks every year. I'm even inviting you guys to bring maps of your own personal property so that we can sit down one-on-one -on -one and pick those properties apart. So sign up quick guys, because we are only offering a limited, and I mean limited, amount of spots for this visit. The second route's fake, right? Well, let's break it down. So guys, I've lived in a lot of places. Thankfully, this career has kind of taken me all over the country. And there's some places, I swear, the second rut really isn't a thing. But I'm here to tell you there's other areas in which I've absolutely seen it take place. What to look for and whether to know your property or your given hunting area is in the second rut. Let's figure this out. So I'm thinking of a place I've lived a couple of years ago in Western Kentucky. Um, deer numbers were super high and what that tells me is if the buck to doe ratio is a little bit off then generally a lot of those bucks don't breed all the does that first round that first round in November that we all know so then the next round about 30 ish give or days later um, that second rut can occur what does that mean it means that does or even fawns that weren't of appropriate weight um, to be bred at that time come into estrus and they're 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 what the bucks are going after at that point so this takes place in one case whether the doe is too small in november and is now big enough in december or two she just didn't get bred in her first round or her second round i've even seen this in january so here's how you know if that second rut is actually going on in your area it's simple look for the sign that you see in november first week second week even late october and see if it's taking place again in december what am i referring to scrapes especially bucks will always make rubs as long as a, a, a buck has antlers, they're going to keep making rubs. But the scrapes are really what tells me the second rut is taking place. And why is that? I guess the most simple way to explain it is a scrape is a place in, in an area in which deer will congregate and check to see if does are coming into estrus. These does will come and urinate into, the, into these scrapes and these bucks will come and, ch come and test them. Okay? They'll actually test them with a vomeronasal organ, which is inside their mouth. And that lets those deer know by testing it with that organ that that doe is in estrus. So that's kind of the scientific background as to is it taking place. More importantly, you need to know where it's taking place, and it's on scrapes. So if you're finding scrapes in December, guys, chances are they're kind of few, few and far between, at least compared to November. So if you're finding them, probably set up on them, or at least try to figure out the overall pattern, what's going on in that area. When you see that scrape, don't just think, oh, this is a scrape I should set up. Think about where are they betting from here? Where are they headed? And try to hunt it based off the wind that you think would be most ideal for that given scenario so is the second rut real absolutely what would i recommend looking for rubs sure but especially the scrapes and then when you find those scrapes ask yourself why really break down the situation guys and if you do that you're taking it a step further than just about everybody else that steps into the public woods the private woods or anybody else ask yourself why assess the situation make sense of the situation so you can go in there and hunt strategically if it only allows you to go in there and hunt on a northwest wind or a southwest wind, you need to know that, or at least make your best educated guess so that you actually go in there and have success. Otherwise, you're chasing your tail or not getting it done. Use, um, use the snow to your benefit at this point if you do have it in your neck of the woods. Track these deer down. Um, but for the most part, guys, that second rut is absolutely a thing. It takes place where there's an imbalance in the herd, or those does weren't bred the first round, or those younger does just weren't of, 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 of weight, I guess you could say, to be bred. And it will take place in December, and that third rut will take place in January if you really have an imbalance. So guys, look for the buck sign on a smaller level that you would generally see in November, in December, and January, and you probably kill a buck in the second rut, and maybe even in the third.